death seems to be a common theme in our world lately. Technology is changing every single day. In fact, we really have no idea what tomorrow will hold. The one thing that we do know and that we can rely on is our education system. Safe texting and driving should be taught in our schools as a precautionary measure. In order to understand why texting and driving should be taught in schools, we need to truly understand why texting and driving is so dangerous and we can educate our youth in order to help them remain safer on the roads. The Drug Abuse Resistance Education Program, which is also known as DARE, shows how after children go through their rigorous curriculum, they have a 32% to 44% reduction in marijuana, tobacco, and alcohol use, showing that their educational system brings insight to situations that may not be ideal. This also shows that our educational systems are making a difference. According to the CDC, 9% of all teens who died in motor vehicle crashes in 2018 were killed in crashes that involved distracted driving. The CDC also says that in 2019, 39% of high school students who drove in the past 30 days texted or emailed while they were driving on one of those days. Texting while driving is a huge issue, but because we have our education system at our fingertips, we really can educate our youth and enable them to make better decisions and to be safer on the road. Texting and driving is a problem that is not going to go away. It will continue to grow. In fact, with cell phones being so prevalent today and really um, a necessity in everyday life, a person will always have their device in their car with them. It's really quite rare that someone leaves their phone at home. With the phone close by, the impulse to text will be there especially if they get a phone call, text, email, or something like that while they're driving. This issue has become so apparent that 48 out of 50 states have banned texting while driving, according to safedriveonline.org. Current approaches to stop texting and driving have failed. Even with authorities cracking down on distracted driving, their efforts to diminish it have ultimately been pretty unsuccessful. Texting and driving is a difficult crime to police. With people secluded in their own vehicles and out of the sight line of police officers, texting and driving comes down to the honor system, which a lot of people don't tend to follow when it comes to this issue. Crashes related to cell phones have increased yearly, despite the act becoming, you know, no more illegal or less illegal than it is. With no real way to catch people who text and drive, there should be others measure ta other measures taken in order to protect everyone on the road, not just teens, not just adults, but everyone. Proper, pro proper training is necessary because texting while driving is likely. An example of training a difficult task like this could be a police officer, for example. While they are driving or following someone to give them a ticket or even on a chase, chasing a bad guy, they are multitasking. They are on their phones, on their computers, doing various things. And the reason that they can do that safely is because they have been trained, they have been educated, and they know how to multitask correctly. Another great example of this is a NASCAR driver. They are kind of doing the same thing as a police officer. They are just driving at very high speeds and multitasking as well. So they are definitely trained and have learned how to do that um, the most safe way possible. Now I understand that this is a very strong opinion and that many people will disagree with me. In fact, they might say that texting and driving is illegal and that it should 
just remain that way and that texting and driving shouldn't happen under any circumstances. And I would say that many laws are changing and updating as society changes and updates. Phones are so much more prevalent than they were 20 years ago. Almost everyone has them, even toddlers have phones. So we should be teaching people how to use their phones in a safer way instead of banning phones from the cars because that doesn't seem to work. People still will text and call and be distracted while they're driving. They could also say that just not using the phone at all will be safer than using it. And while this may be true in a perfect world, we ultimately do not live in a perfect world. People have shown that they will text if the, in the car regardless of any restrictions. So it's, better to, it's a better option to teach people to text and drive in a safe way rather than just hoping they'll do the right thing, which honestly has proven to be futile. A really, really good example for this is teen sex. We can teach teens to be abstinent. We can teach them that not having sex is better than having sex. It's safer and there's no way that you can get an STD, an STI, or anything like that. But teens will absolutely still go ahead and have sex. So what do we do instead? Do we just keep pounding it down their throat that abstinence is best, abstinence is best, and not teach them anything else? No. We go back and we teach them about how to be safe while they have sex. We teach them about condoms, we teach them about birth control, and we give them the tools to utilize should something like that arise, and also to protect themselves in the long run. The opposition's argument only further proves why my argument is stronger and that we should be teaching people to text and drive safely and give them the tools and the opportunities to be able to be safer on the road. All efforts to stop texting and driving have failed up to this point. So we must address the problem in a different way. We have to come at it from a different angle. We should be teaching texting and driving in schools and teaching people how to be safer with it. We should also be designing our technology to maybe allow an easier time while texting on the road. Ultimately, safe texting and driving should be taught in schools and used as a precautionary measure. Now, although we have had to become comfortable with death over this last year, education is a promising way to help steer us back on the correct path and hopefully you know, limit the number of deaths that we see this upcoming year. Thank you.